practical intents and purposes, stealth in space is impossible. The concept of stealth in space arises mostly in discussions regarding space warfare. It's thought by some that the same principles regarding stealth in terrestrial warfare can also be applied to warfare in outer space. However, this is not true. There are two methods of detection, passive and active. Passive detection is accomplished through use of telescopes and heat sensors. Active detection consists of radar and lidar. Active sensors are superior at detection, but betray your own position. Unlike on Earth, the only feasible method to travel through space is with rockets. Any rocket designed for military purposes will be outputting thrust exhaust in the gigawatt to terawatt range. Exhaust output this powerful can be detected from Alpha Centauri with a passive sensor. The space shuttle's engines are comparatively weaker, but even they can be detected past Pluto, and the maneuvering thrusters on the space shuttle can be detected past the asteroid belt. Even an ion thruster can be detected at a single astronomical unit. Some people argue that they can perform an initial burn and then coast with the engines cold, or that they can somehow travel through space without using rockets. But even that won't work, and it is due to the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, entropy never decreases. Entropy is the energy in a system that can no longer do any work, and this usually manifests as waste heat. Acceleration of any kind requires work, and whenever work is being performed, whether it is in space or on Earth, waste heat is produced. Even a small amount of waste heat can be detected. For example, even just the life support systems in a ship 154 meters long, maintaining internal temperature at freezing point, can be detected at a distance of 38,800,000 kilometers. Heat cannot be destroyed. It can only be moved around, and using various weapon systems will produce copious amounts of heat that must be released through use of radiators that will glow brightly. Some argue that the use of decoys will work. However, any decoy that can fool an enemy into thinking it's a real ship will cost almost as much as a real ship anyway, so you're better off just making it a real ship in the first place. Others contend that stealth in space is a technological problem, and that with sufficiently advanced technology, it will one day be possible. They point out that ancient people once believed that flight was also impossible, but the skeptics were disproven in time. This is also completely wrong. Stealth in space is not a technological problem. It's a physical impossibility that is barred by the laws of physics. No ancient person with a properly functioning brain ever thought flight was impossible. Since antiquity, insects, birds, and bats could fly, and people observed their behavior and knew flight was theoretically possible. However, the problem was with their technology, not with physical limitations. Stealth in space is impossible because the universe makes it impossible. When a cup of hot coffee is placed at room temperature, the coffee cools down, and the air in the room becomes slightly warmer. If you could somehow reverse the second law of thermodynamics, placing a cup of coffee at room temperature makes the coffee hotter, while the room colder. But it wouldn't end there. The heat would coalesce to any environment that was warmer. So the heat in the room would also gravitate to the people in the room, killing them. Then heat in our planet would gravitate to the core of the planet. Then the heat in planets would force them to collapse into their local star. Then all the stars and galaxies would gravitate together until the entire universe collapses into a single point. Meanwhile, your stealth spaceship, which defeats the second law of thermodynamics, no longer exists. And neither does the universe. So now you know better, and that was Enigma Hood's common misconceptions.